targets that um, Mr. Goway struggled to gain a validity and so Louder. And we can't hear you. you have to talk loud. What, why do you think that third parties have always struggled to gain a validity in this country? And what has been the greatest challenge in your well, very easy. I think um, third parties, you know, it hasn't always been a struggle. If we look in the 20s, 30s, and 40s, the communists were out there, the socialists were out there running for office. I think after the first televised debate, it then became the cosmetic, how, what does a president really look like? What is presidential? How is it created? Who fits that mold for that certain period of time? But when Bill Clinton was in office, he, did, he ushered in an age of deregulation for the media that for the last 15 years, we see media go from thousands of different places to a consolidation of almost five or six media companies, Clear Channel, MS, Viacom, Viacom owns CBS, owns C BET. You know, Summer Redstone owns Viacom. He owns this thing. Uh, look at Rupert Murdoch. <laughs> the, what, Wall Street Journal, New York Post, Fox News. He, you know, he owns MySpace. Why haven't me and Cynthia been the only, and Ralph Nader got denied doing the MySpace debates with young people? Rupert Murdoch owns it. His boy is George Bush. He likes Bloomberg. So what's happening is this consolidation of media literally is now media's propaganda for the government. And we saw it clearly during the war. Come on, Judith Miller, New York Times, all, the, all this nonsense. We got weapons of mass destruction. These are journalists who knew he was lying and refused to go on the air and say he was lying. <laughs> so you're not a journalist. But I also go back to our independent sources of media. Look, I've been, a Pacific, I've been at Pacifica Network with Sally O'Brien and where we live for six years. I told, I told everybody at Pacifica, I'm disgusted at how even Pacifica has done the election coverage this year. Every story on Wake Up Call and Democracy Now has to be Obama and McCain. I mean, really. Like, I called Amy Goodman and my friend Mike. I was like, yo, what the hell? You're talking more about, you're talking the same thing Obama and McCain every day. Your news headlines has one story from Obama and one from McCain. What about one from all of them? Why is Wake Up Call in New York, where I worked at BAI for five years, I've done it one time. Now, it's either y'all really don't like me on some personal, or you just really are also falling into the hype or being very lazy. And that's what I think it is. It's lazy journalism at this point. And, and I don't have, as, a, as someone who didn't go to journalism school, but was taught by Lambe Brass, Sally O'Brien, and Bashir M. Chawe, and was on that Thursday night lineup in New York for five years. I know what journalism is. It's truly about, the, as Mumia said, the voice of the voiceless. So I expect, like, MSNBC, look, Bill O'Reilly has invited me four times. And I know why. So we've chosen to say no, although I might say yes in the last week of the election. But I, I've, I've been very careful about that, because I'm not stupid about what Fox's <laughs> intentions are. But if we already know that the mainstream medias do that, then we do as much as we can to hold them accountable. But we, as progressives and radicals, have to also hold accountable the media that says they're progressive and radical, yeah. and again, refuse. Yeah. And it's not even fair to Nader, even though Nader gets the most independent media coverage. How? are him and Cynthia, and even Ron Paul, not on every show when they have a Democrat and Republican. The only show I've done in the corporate media, this whole campaign on TV happened today. BET, my friend Jeff Johnson, who's one of the founders of the convention and is a great friend, uh, he's our family, basically. He has a show now called The Truth with Jeff Johnson. It took him eight weeks to get me on. And today I taped. And who was I? I was there with a black woman who's a Republican strategist. 
And I learned from her. I even told my husband Justice, I'm like, oh, she was on point. I got to get like that. Because I haven't done a lot of TV, and it moves so much quicker. And I'm used to independent radio where you can talk like I am doing now forever without a commercial. And then the Democratic um, supporter, Keith Boykin, a, a, young, a black man who works around issues of um, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender rights. So it's him, and it's her, and it's me, and I probably was a little like, because I wasn't jumping in right, because I believed that debate should be civil, and then I realized this is corporate media, and then by the time the segment was over, Jeff called me on the plane and he said, oh, now they want you for a half hour by yourself. He said, everybody in that audience when they left said that you were the best guest, all the producers, and it's not just me, you know, it's obviously the politics, because when I was sitting there and I said what I said about what the Green Party does, the audience was like, livable wage, housing, whoa, like we could get down with that. So, you know, it's, a, it's important to know like all these um, things and as young people, you know how they say everybody has arsenal, you know, you have an arsenal you carry and as a young people you're taught what leadership looks like, what are great tactics. For us as young people, we now have to always infuse media justice with social justice because we live in that time period, right? So young people have to really pick up the mantle around that. And then lastly, international coverage of our run has been fantastic. Look, I've done Japanese TV, um, uh, Nigerian TV. I did something on Somalia. I did Al Jazeera. I Latavian TV, somebody from uh, Russia just called. They did a thing, Sweden. Um, and this is a lot of the hip hop community internationally has been really fascinated with this run. Um, and I'm doing this, one of the biggest cultural um, papers in, in, in um, oh my God, in Taiwan. You know, and I've had, me and Cynthia have probably had three, uh, if I would give you a number, I would say we've had, if we've had a hundred stories written on us, half of them have been international press. You know, so, and that to me is great because with the Green Party, lest people forget, we're worldwide. <laughs> we're all over the world, so.